Hey y'all, it's your realtor Brooke Miller. We all know that selling a house in the spring is ideal, but selling in the winter isn't that bad either. So here are some tips for selling your home in the winter months. But before we begin, please make sure you click the subscribe button below so you never miss out on a video. And also, if you have some great tips for selling in the winter, please share it in the comment section and let's help each other out. have a photo of your pool as beautiful as it is in say June or July with the leaves on the trees, the sparkling blue water, and to have that available on the kitchen counter. So when buyers are looking at your home and this is what they see, they can at least visualize what the house will look like in the summertime. Make sure you provide a place right inside your front door for the buyers to remove their shoes. As you can see, my shoes are covered in snow. So this seller has a nice little mat right here at the front door so I can remove my shoes immediately. Also, it's a good idea to provide booties. So some people don't like removing their shoes or they have big tall boots on or something like that. And so providing booties that they can slip over their shoes is very helpful. This will help your buyer feel more comfortable and protect your beautiful floors. Make sure all of your window coverings and blinds are open. Nothing shows a home better than natural light. And in the winter time, we have very limited hours of natural light. So if you have all of your window coverings open, the natural light will just pour into your home and it will actually make the buyers feel better when touring your home. We all get cabin fever in the winter and most of that is because we don't get enough vitamin D from the sunlight. So make sure all your window coverings are open, showcase how gorgeous your home is in its natural light. Set your thermostat to a good temperature. You know, if the thermostat is running really low, and maybe that's the way you like it, buyers are gonna think something's wrong with your heating system. It's not efficient. So I recommend setting your thermostat to about 70 degrees. People are gonna be coming into your home wearing coats and boots and all those things, and you don't want them to sweat to death inside your home, but making sure your thermostat is set to a very comfortable temperature is going to be very important. Do you have a fireplace? Well, if you do, you should turn on your gas fireplace while people are touring your home, but only if you're going to be out of the home for about 30 minutes to an hour. Of course, if you have a wood burning fireplace, do not light a fire and then leave the home. But having a nice fire in the living room or bedroom or wherever you have your fireplace gives the buyers a sense of coziness and warmth and it will make your home a little bit more appealing. Worried about selling your home where in the backyard you can see other houses through the trees. Well, don't worry about that. It's actually really good for the buyer because they get a chance to look at the property and see the actual bones of the property itself. So don't worry about the fact that they can see other houses through the trees. I recommend making sure you have a copy of a beautiful photo from the summertime where all the trees are in full bloom and you can't see any of the other houses. I think that's the best demonstration of the privacy of a home. If you're going to be moving out of your home several weeks before the closing or for an extended period of time while the home is still on the market, it's really important to have your home winterized. And what that means is you hire a plumber to come in, they turn off the water at your home, they drain all of the pipes and your water heater, and they also put some antifreeze in the pipes. So this way, if the power happens to go out, which has happened in the past year in the area, and your heat isn't working, the pipes won't freeze. It's much cheaper to pay a plumber to come and winterize your house and maybe even take it out of winterization than it is to pay for that large insurance claim when you have a burst pipe the day before the closing. Also, we have created these cute little signs that we put on the toilets. It's just a reminder for people coming to look at your home that the home has been winterized and toilet facilities are not available at your home. That way you don't have to go and clean up an awful mess as well. So winterization is really important. All in all, the winter time is a great time to sell. The buyers that are out there are very serious. There's less competition on the market. The other people who are involved in the sale are not backlog. For instance, appraisers, home inspectors, loan officers, the sale can actually happen quicker. Plus, it's a great time to move up. 
because you'll probably find a great deal on your next house. I've been helping people buy and sell homes in the winter for nearly two decades. So if you're interested in putting your home on the market this winter or want to learn more about the services we provide, please reach out to us by clicking on our website listed in the description below and we'd be happy to help you out. Have a great winter. Hey you, don't forget to click the subscribe button right here to keep all this great information coming to you. And if you want to know more about the services we provide here in the great Commonwealth of Virginia, click the link to our website, go fill out a seller or a buyer profile, and we will get in touch and help you out. Don't forget, subscribe.